Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is my first attempt at Christmas resin. Excited much? <laughs> I'm gonna make some Christmas coasters. Now a company called Hemway emailed me and asked if they could send me over some pigment powders and some glitters. I was more than happy to try them out. I asked them for some Christmas colours. That was my next project for Christmas was resin, Christmassy, colory things. So they sent me over some powder. So I got some red, some green. They're both they're shimmery. They look really pretty. I've got some gold pigment powder. That looks absolutely lush. And another red. Now, one is a red red and one is like a orangey pink red. So yeah, I'm gonna try those. And they also sent me over some adorable glitters. Now I've got the silver glitter here. The red one excites me greatly. This is why I got my nails done, okay? Red glitter resin. And they also sent me over some gold. Now my plan for these really is to make a bowl and I'm gonna make that at the weekend. It needs time, I need time to make that. So today's video is going to be coasters. So I've got 20% off for you guys if you are interested in buying these glitters after you've seen my video. 20% um, off and there is a code in the description box for you below. So all you have to do is click on the link Add that code at the checkout and you'll get 20% off your order. First thing I'm gonna do is mix my resin. It is one to one ratio. So if you're new to resin, if you're thinking about resin, one to one, I cannot recommend it enough. There's no maths involved. That is my resin mixed for around about five minutes. Now I'm gonna add some of this absolutely gorgeous, I don't know if you can see that, it's absolutely beautiful, red powder. Now you don't need a lot of powder. I'm just gonna put a little bit in, see how I feel and then add more if I need it. It's easier to add than it is to take away. So I'm gonna add the red. And you see how quickly it takes. It's absolutely, oh my goodness me. I don't know if the camera's picking this up, how pearly that is. Gorgeous. I'm gonna give that a really, really good mix. What you don't want is like powder clumps. And ideally you wanna mix your resin slowly to avoid air bubbles. So I do want a bit more in there I think. Such a gorgeous colour. I'm gonna put quite a clump in because I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. It's the, gonna be the reddiest of reds. <laughs> now I know that glitter sinks to the bottom of resin so I've poured some resin out and I've put some red glitter into this little pot so I'm just gonna give that a really good stir gently but thorough. Once that glitter starts to absorb into the resin, then it'll be easier. But at first, go easy to give that a stir. And then I'm gonna kind of pour them separately. No idea what these are gonna turn out like it's the first time trying, so. However they turn out, I'm gonna love them. So, it's all good. Fully mixed, can you see that? Absolutely love it. Right, I'm gonna get to pouring. No rules, absolutely no rules. So I've got my liquid resin here and I've got my glitter resin, my um, mica powder resin and I've got my glitter resin. So this is the powder resin that's using the mica powder and here is the glitter. Actually, I think I put the pink powder in here. I think I did. <laughs> Oh no, first mistake, never mind. I'm sure once the red glitter mixes, it's gonna be all okay. So, I'm gonna go see what happens. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I've got absolutely no idea. I don't know if the glitter is going to fully saturate and you won't even see any of the epoxy anyway, so we'll we'll find out soon enough, won't we? I have got my mask on because I just used the lighter to get rid of the bubbles so sorry if you can't hear me very clearly I'm going to spell out Noel and then if I can think of anything else I'll do it
has been 24 hours since I made these. I can see big pools of glitter in the middles. So I don't really know how these are gonna turn out. They're either amazing or they're amazing. Either way, even if they haven't gone exactly as I expected them to go. <gasps> Ooh. So we have got some swirly on there. Still pretty. I mean, <laughs> you can definitely see the difference between the two, just the mica powder and the glitter. I actually really like that. I love it. So Christmassy. Next one. Oh, yep, yeah, we've got the swirls, a little bit anyway. How Christmassy are these? Just perfect coasters. Oh my goodness me. Third one. Let's have a go. Oh, that's almost completely glitter, that one. Can you see how fantabulous that is? Yeah. I think you're not going to get more Christmassy, glitterly, fabulously, nicious, <laughs> if that's a word, as these. Yeah, absolutely love them. I am going to add these absolutely stunning die cut vinyl shapes. Now they are deer heads, stag heads. I've got a die cut and a die cutting machine. So if you want to see more of that, do let me know. I haven't actually gone into detail on this video, but I have cut them out of white vinyl, white matte I think yeah it is matte vinyl and I am going to be sticking these on top of the coasters before I give them a top coat of resin I feel like this is going to be the trickiest part the resin for me now is the easiest part and <laughs> this I feel like this is going to be the trickiest part just peeling this off and sticking it down but we shall give it a go There they are, oh my goodness. I mean, fiddly, I cannot lie, that vinyl was fiddly. <laughs> the hardest part of this whole DIY was the vinyl. They're quite nice, thin coasters. I absolutely adore them. So I'm just gonna pop out those letters now and show you what I'm gonna make with those and then we'll top coat these. And job is a good one. Here are the letters I poured with the leftover resin. I mean, I say leftover, I did make a lot of resin, unnecessarily too much, but I also knew I did want to make some Christmas words. So the first word I wanted to make was Noel. I just love it. So we'll pop these out. Remember to be gentle with your moulds. Oh my goodness. <laughs> love like absolutely love i might even make myself a letter c for my name wear it on my keys you can already see when you pop these out that the um the mold kind of starts to go white in places where it's just too much stress on it so you do really have to be careful oh la 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 okay and the e Okay, let's have a look at those. Oh, oh, let's spell it right because I'm kind of upside down for you guys. Yeah, that's right. Noel, is that a H? No, <laughs> looks like a H. How absolutely Christmas-licious is that? Now the last, the second word I made was actually Christmas, but spelt X-M-A-S. I'm not actually a fan. I'm not a huge fan of the way they spell this word, but I thought the letters I've got, I'm not about to spell out Christmas or, you know. Oh my goodness me, this red is so vibrant. I don't know if you can see it. 
in the video but I hope you can the mold is a little bit fiddly for these letters that are kind of stuck oh it's a bit red overload isn't it red mold red resin and red nails and finally the S oh love what do we think Christmas Noel oh let me give you a close-up of one of these guys just absolutely fantastic Hemway thank you so much for sending me these glitters and these powders to try this has been so much fun now guys I am gonna attempt to make a bowl I've actually never made one before so if you want to see lots of um, <laughs> lots of frustration definitely wait and check that one out i am going to give these a, just a clear coat clear resin top coat won't do it in this video if you've seen my other videos you'll pretty much know i will just put the clear coat on pop the bubbles and then i'll post a picture when they're finished over on my instagram so if you come on over there it's claire's crafty corner hemway thank you guys if you are interested in these glitters or these pigments the details is going to be in the description box below you've got 20 percent off with my code claire burgess if you follow the link well I have to say I'm loving my honest um, review and my honest opinion I mean loving absolutely loving so guys if you are interested in these go check it out in the description box check out their website via my link get that code off ready for your Christmas resin oh, so so love these I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I cannot wait to do more Christmas resin. Let me know in the comment section down below. Say hello. You know I love to hear from you guys. And I, so far, guys, two years, so far I've replied to every single comment on my YouTube channel. So, yeah, there's a challenge for you. Find a comment I haven't replied to. Yeah, I will see you in the next video. Oh my God, I love these so much. See you there. Bye.